Okay, we've come back to my own skyline. Unfortunately, the weather hasn't got any better. It's very windy, very cloudy. There's low cloud on the volcano itself, so we can't see the top. Even if it wasn't windy, I wouldn't send me drone through that because the cloud is just pure water and I'd probably lose my drone. Now, I'm contemplating whether to do any anything with my drone here because the wind is very strong um, but I'm thinking of trying to get a little bit of footage the other thing I'm concerned about is there is a transmitter part way up the hill and sometimes they interfere with the drones and they just fly off so I'm, I'm a bit apprehensive but I'll be disappointed if I come away without any drone footage to show you because this place is absolutely beautiful it's well worth a visit and also there's the Mayan Skyline Hotel and uh, Conference Convention. Centre Convention Centre Convention, Conference, whatever um, so you can come here and hold a conference if you're a business um, but just to be here is so relaxing it's like you know if you've got any stress it just goes um, I'm really sorry we haven't been able to do some videos like this for a while but the weather is just, I mean we've been lucky it's rained a bit but it's not rained that much the sun's coming in and out there's loads of cloud I think at some point we're going to get a downpour I hope it's not before we get home and it's just impossible to do any video anywhere but we're here today and I can say for the first time this is the first time uh, it's been overcast and it's actually quite cool. Now, Mel reckons it's really cold, but if she considers this cold, she doesn't want to go to the UK because this is what a summer would be like in the UK. But um, we're going to try and do a bit of footage for you. We've just done uh, Vera Falls. Um, what's that other one we're going to do? Kawakawa Hills. Kawakawa Hills. So, I don't know anything about it, but. Mel reckons it's a lovely view so I want to show you just one more thing I want to tell you if you're coming from Naga to Legatsby or to here it takes approximately three hours two hours 50 minutes three hours something like that obviously depending on traffic so I just thought I'd drop that in as a bit of information for you so hopefully we'll get a couple of videos out today we'll try anyway because uh, it's a long way to come but we want to do it for you so we'll see how we go. We'll do a bit of drone footage and we'll see you in for now. Right. I've decided I'm gonna try and fly the drone. As you can see from the trees, look here, it's really windy. So I'm not gonna take it too far um, for fear it flies off. <laughs> I've not had it that long, I don't want it flying away because they do fly away. And plus there's a transmitter there, so I don't want it uh, too far away. So, fingers, hey? Yeah, fingers crossed we'll be all right. So, let's give it a go. Very nervous. It, it seems to be okay. Just give it a flyby.
Well, to say the wind's really strong, it's doing fantastic. I'm really impressed, very impressed. Oh, it's not recording. Is it not recording? Well, it's not recording, is it? Who, who started it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Is it up, still up high enough? Right, I think so. You didn't. What's the battery?